Hello and welcome to this video that will show you how to set up the Cyberhost Pro VPS reseller module for WHMCS. First thing to do in WHMCS is make sure you're running the latest version and also just do some checks on your system. So if you go to the help menu and go to system health status and just make sure that everything looks okay and that you've got no errors. In this example you can see we do have one error but that's okay because it's just an issue on this development server but make sure you've got no errors that are going to stop you from being able to use WHMCS. Once you've checked the health status page if you go to utilities system PHP version compatibility and just do a check on here to make sure that all of your WHMCS modules do work with the version of PHP that you're using. In this example we're going to be using PHP 7.2. You will need to be using WHMCS 7.5 or higher. So the first thing we need to do is set up our module. So on the setup menu go down to products and services and go to servers what you'll need to do is click add new server and then give it a name so in this case we've just put cyberhost pro cloud vps you can call it whatever you want the host name and ip you can't change put in there put cloud cp dot uk dns dot biz and then the ip 91232 scroll down and enter your username and password that you would use to log on to our cloud cp and then click test connection. Make sure you get the successful message. If you get an error, this means either the username or password is incorrect. It's also important to make sure you have secure ticked. Next thing to do is click create a new group. Give the group a name. In this case, we've just put cloud VPS and then select the server you created earlier. Click add and go to save changes. So now you should have the server set up and the group. Next thing we want to do is create our first product. So if you go to setup, products and services and go to product stroke services and then create a new group. So I'm just going to put in here VPS. So give your product group a name, a headline and just make some tagline. We recommend using the standard cart. Once done click save changes. So you've now got your group, we now just need to make our first product. So product type, make sure you put dedicated stroke VPS server and then give it a title. For example, I'm going to call this server bronze VPS. Okay, so give your product a description. This is just some friendly text that's shown on the order form. Okay, so I've just made up a description here. On your welcome email, select the welcome email you want to send. Uh, untick required domain. And then just tick the box for apply tax. Even if you've not set up tax, VAT, any for like that, just tick the box anyway. Because if you do ever come to add tax in the future, the products are already configured. And uh, once you've set up this, click save changes. And you'll get a yellow message saying successful. Next thing to do is change the pricing tab so we don't want it to be free. Select recurring and then tick off the options you want. It's most popular are monthly and annually. In this demo we're just going to show you the monthly option. So I'll just put our base price as um, let's just put 20. So my WHMCS is configured for pounds so that'd be 20 pounds a month. You can tick off options like pro rata billing so you may want to charge the customer on the first of each month so in this case you'll tick this box and just put a number one here but I'll just charge it from whatever date they sign up so for example if it's the first of June every month on the first of the month it will just build in cool. click save changes and then click the module settings and what you want to do on here is select Cyberhost Pro you'll get this message here and then click Cyberos Pro again, Cloud VPS, and then click Save Changes. So just give it a moment and it connect to the module and get the list of options available. 
Okay. So what you want to do is click Generate Default next to Configure All Options. And you just get this message to confirm that's done. And then it will take you back here. And then we just click Module Settings. And then click Custom Fields, Generate Defaults. And then click OK, which will take you to Custom Fields, just showing these boxes created. Again, go back to Module Settings and now we'll configure the VPS. So I'm going to give one CPU. 1 gig of RAM and 25 gig disk space. So the CPU is already set to 1 so don't need to modify that. Your RAM is in megabytes so a gigabyte of RAM is 1024 megabyte and then I'm going to give 25 gigabyte disk space. Once the customer's paid for the order I wanted to then create the VPS. You can set it so you have to manually accept an order which is great because it just means you're manually vetting it. Never choose this top one because that just means someone places an order on your website and it approves it if they pay or not which obviously you don't want to do so really you want to use one of these two or even three options at the bottom but never the top one and click save changes okay so the custom fields just you won't need to make any changes here this is automatic so this will be just configured when a VPS is ordered, you don't need to know anything about this box. The host name, this will be on the order form. This is where the customer enters the host name for their server. For example, VPS dot whatever their domain name is. So what we want to do next is just configure our configurable options. So it's created this group. So we just go to setup, product services, configurable options. And here we go. So this new option created. So first thing we want to do is just click modify and rename it. So we'll call this um, Fig Options for VPS. I'm just going to, you can put whatever you want for here. A description you can put, configure your new VPS. And I'll just save those changes. So you'll see where that goes later on. It does go in the order form and you may want to reword it. And you've got these two options below, template ID and require automated backups. So these are two options that are going to show on the order form. So this top one will let the customer choose an operating system. So you may want to choose CentOS, you may want to have cPanel, Plesk, or maybe do on Windows Server. And then you can also choose to backup that server. So the first thing we will do is modify the template. So here is the list of templates available. So you may want to give certain ones for free and certain ones you'll need to charge for. So for example, CentOS 7 and cPanel, well, we charge for cPanel, so you'll want to charge for cPanel. So I'm only set up monthly billing, so I'm only going to edit the monthly column. If I'd set up annual billing before, I'd have to complete these other boxes, but I haven't. So if I was just put, let's say, £10 there for CentOS and cPanel, maybe it's £15 for Cloud Linux, and so on. It's all of the prices available on the VPS reseller page. You also need to charge things like Windows Server. So I'll just set these to £10 on this demo. Same with backups. We charge you per megabyte for backups. I need to get when you enable backups, it enables a daily, a weekly, and a monthly backup. So you need to think of how much that will cost you. So just make it, you can make a ballpark figure. Um, I'm just going to put £15 on here. So that'll be a monthly cost. Again, this is just demo information. You will need to work out how much you want to charge yourself. Once done, click Save Changes. Now the next thing you want to do, which is important, is in WHMCS setup fraud protection. We recommend using MaxMind. So the first thing you want to do is enable the module. I recommend going for the premium. So you will need to get your license key from their website and you can choose if you use a standard or premium. We use premium just because we want an advanced anti-fraud check whenever anyone sign up with us. So just put your license key in here and it choose if it's standard or premium. Options we recommend is to tick off these three boxes because it's obviously fraud if usually if any of these three options are true. Set this to nine and tick this box and then save changes. 
once done go to setup products and services product services just to reload our product from earlier and we're going to do a quick test of the order form so if you click on the links tab and then you can just copy this here and then visit the link in a new window so here this is just a friendly description I made earlier on which was from here so you can see that shows just here our billing options will show here so if you've selected annually that would also show as a second option we have our OS templates so you can see these are just the prices I made before obviously you'll want to do pricing for Plesk as well and then our backups so if you press yes it'll just add £15 to the order or whatever price you've set and then if we just put vps.demo.com and then click continue so once the customer goes to check out and completes their details it will submit the information they'll then either confirm or decline the order based on the anti-fraud settings if it goes through and they pay their invoice if you have enabled um, the option like I had for automatically set up the product as soon as the payment is received it would then automatically build that VPS and we're going to do that in a demo now okay so I've made up some fake information here and chose that I want to pay by PayPal and then I'll click complete order so in your client's client area if they go to one of their services you can see the product and if you open it it does show the new VPS so here it shows the host name primary IP and then it's just showing that it's not yet built because we've only just ordered the VPS so it has to build the disk and store the operating system etc on the cloud so this can take a, a few minutes or longer depending on what operating system you've chose if you select things like cPanel, Plesk they can take much longer because it actually updates the sort of very latest version as a part of the setup process just so new VPSs have the latest version of the software so once these have changed to completed the customer will be able to SSH to their server and what they can do is they can see their password here so you can see it's a random generated password for the VPS they've got the one CPU, they've got the one gigabyte RAM now you'll notice that this size is actually higher the reason for that is it creates a two gigabyte swap on top of the disk space that you've allocated for the home partition I'm now going to show you how to create additional VPS's a lot easier than the first one so if you just click duplicate product and then select our bronze product and then say we want to put silver VPS again you can call these products whatever you want and then just change them so let's just say this one's going to be 2 CPU cores 2 gig of RAM 50 gig disk space um, and then it's going to be let's say it's going to be £40 a month and then just repeat those settings that I've just typed in the description into the module settings so you'll see it's, it's defaulted to 5.12 meg RAM it does that every time you duplicate so 2 gigabyte of RAM is going to be 2048 and then we're going to have 50 gig disk space and it's going to have 2 cores and I've just saved that and if you click config options it should have carried them over from bronze and then one thing it doesn't do on this configurable options is select this so we need to select that product and click save changes and that's all you need to do to create a second VPS now one thing you can do is if you go back to your bronze product you can allow people to upgrade to silver you can't downgrade VPS's you can only upgrade because the disks can't shrink so you can change the resources like drop the RAM, CPU but you can't reduce this space so I only ever recommend setting up upgrades not downgrades so if we and, and never tick this either because we don't let people change operating systems because it won't update the pricing so someone could set up a CentOS 7 virtual machine which obviously got no cost to it 
and then they can do an upgrade resource and change it to let's say a card Linux with Plesk which should have quite a big license cost but it won't update the HMCS pricing so they'd end up getting that for free so never tick off the config world options and then just save that so if I go back to our test customer if I open the bronze VPS you can see now on the it's got all the options below about the server like if it's booted, built, blah blah which I've shown you earlier on and now what you can do is upgrade their product so if I just click upgrade stroke downgrade and then if the, you've got multiple products maybe you've got gold, platinum etc products they'll all show here and then the customer could just change to their new product click choose do you got any promotion codes so you can add that in here and then once you've paid if they go back to the client area it will now show a silver VPS and if you click it you scroll down it will once it's finished running the previous task it will show things like the new memory new CPU cores new disk space etc Okay, so the next thing you'll need to do in the HMCS, if you go to Setup, go to Email Templates. So earlier when we created our products, we used this template, the dedicated Stroke VPS Server Welcome Email. If we just modify that, you will see it, it's very, very basic, this um, email. So you will need to reword it, like it says New Dedicated Server Information. In your case, it's going to be a VPS. You may want to make a new template based on this and copy and paste some information over. Um, but what I would recommend is completely redo this email because it assumes straight away it's going to be Linux. It assumes it's got to break HMC panel and it assumes it's got custom DNS, which it won't do. So what you all want to do is make a new email and make it generic. So it could be, you could start off with your main IP is, your password is rather than word root and then maybe say if you've selected a Linux operating system your username is root if it's a Windows operating system your username is administrator and then put if you've ordered uh, CentOS with cPanel or Cloud Linux with cPanel this will be your access to WHM if you've ordered Plesk this will be your access to Plesk so you need to make it an email that works for all the products that you're selling as a VPS uh, you get rid of the get rid of the custom DNS. Which you won't be using that. That'll be created on the server itself. SSH. You can put if you've ordered a Linux server. Here's your SSH information. If you've ordered a Windows server, here's your remote desktop information. So there's a little bit of, of modifying you need to do to make the email suitable to you. One other thing that you can do, which we do at Cyberhost Pro, is you could actually create separate products. So you could have one at Linux. VPS and then you call it a bronze Linux VPS rather than just bronze VPS and then create another server called bronze Windows VPS and then just have separate configurable options so you have one that just shows Linux operating systems and one that just shows Windows operating systems it's completely up to you how you want to use this once you've done this you are ready to go and to start being able to sell VPS servers using WHMCS if you do have any queries or questions, please contact technical support. You could do that on our website by going to the support menu and then just ask technical support for any queries that you've got with using this module.